Hey guys, welcome to yet another episode of the Blue Inversion Podcast. This is episode 4 and today we are going to talk about the power of personal art. I've been making a lot of personal art recently, ever since I started the dailies, the everydays. And it has been going really well, I'll say, uh, from my side personally. And it was about time that we start um, talking about this topic in the podcast, right? So, first I'm going to show you some some of my recent works. Uh, actually, let me show you uh, some of my old works first. So, this is my art station. And... I made this a couple of years a couple of years ago. It's called Spectrum. And then I made this very very recently. Uh last week I made I made this. This is what um the topic for this episode is. I and this was a Friday Friday artwork and I took it and we are uh looking at the time lapse today. It's called PTSD and then uh, I I made this one Cas9 today. So if you if you notice properly, uh, it has a bit of a pattern going on. You can see that, um, like I I knew this was going to happen if I kept making more and more artworks, because uh, the fact is that whenever I tend to, and I think it is true for most people, uh, if you if you start making some creative uh, work and you do not. You do not allow yourself allow yourself too much time to reconsider every every facet of it. Then it gets more and more close to you as a uh, as an artist. Like it becomes more and your personality shows up in the artwork more. If you do not allow that time for it to ferment and become this uh, this this filtered form of you that. Uh, that you you think you should be making the artwork that you should be making um so i do not allow that time because obviously these are this should be finished in a couple of hours or so otherwise i won't be able to meet the deadline every week of making uh, seven artworks five artworks uh every week days right so so what is happening is that uh i have this interest in and it, it's it's all in the back of my mind like I'm looking back and I realize this pattern going on in my artworks now. Like I'm leaning towards this eerie, dark kind of subjects these days uh, involving some some sort of remote connection with, you know, with human face and a character. Like not very specific. These are all make human models that I'm using. Uh, but the concept is uh, always involves some kind of uh, human human or the humanoid and and some kind of uh abstract abstract idea concept and most of the themes are dark i think that's what i'm leaning towards and i think that's really the kind of art that i really love and i wouldn't have uh realized that if i did not make this every days because um as soon as you give yourself that time to kind of polish your work all the other voices uh, in your mind come come into play and they tell you that you cannot make uh, this kind of art because maybe it's going to get censored or maybe you haven't seen too many artists make this kind of work or maybe this color scheme is not very uh, very industrial or very uh, very sober this color this color scheme is uh, kind of not very recommended to like you know those these kind of things like uh if you have that if you have you seen that video like what are the chances right uh like i'm into rap music a lot so i was watching this video the other day where eminem is in on an interview and he says that you can rhyme things with orange and he shows uh says some examples but the but the rap industry is like and the songwriting industry is like uh that don't don't use orange in your uh in your verse, because you cannot rhyme anything with orange, and then Eminem comes up and uh, tells you, "Don't t- take it for the face value, and you can rhyme it well with a lot of things." Now, uh, that's the the thing I'm coming 
coming to with that is that uh, there are a lot of people not in a not in a bad way right people are trying to help whoever is giving you advice is trying to help you of course no bad intentions i'm not going into in that direction but there are a lot of voices telling you what to do and as soon as you start isolating yourself and letting go of the other voices uh, who are telling you showing you a a common path to take towards anything uh i think it's the better especially in in things that are creative because what is good or bad in a creative in a creative work at the end of the day is decided by the masses if it is a personal work or even if it is a commercial work of course you're listening to your client but the client is kind of the end goal of the client is to do something that the mass that like the extreme end goal maybe is a executive at a company that company is trying to make ads or commercials everything is going to the end uh consumer so the subject that i'm trying to hit is that you don't really know what is good art so you might as well just follow your heart and make whatever you like and then that will help you stay stay the course and then keep 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 beating on your craft and then maybe one day you get really good at what you make and you it resonates with some people uh that's really the motto that i follow of course i'm not demonizing commercial work not calling out any kind of freelance work or anything uh it's very essential to pay the bills i'm not saying i'm not saying that selling your art is um uh, bad that you always have to make personal work things that you like and not do any commercial work that's that's not what i'm trying to say but you you should always have that room of experimentation with personal art because i think fast concepting with uh personal art is a good way to to know yourself more and what you what are your likes and dislikes and what things what are the subject matters and themes that you gravitate towards because it is because honestly speaking i had a lot of misconceptions about myself that maybe this is the kind of art that i like and it turns out that that is not really the case because as i'm making more and more work i i'm finding out that um uh, uh there are certain things that i i didn't like i thought that i'm into realistic work polished photo real work that is what i initially thought i like and i did that for 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 a long time and then uh, at the end of the at the end of 2000 um 16 or 17 i st- kind of started experimenting a little bit with those abstract surreal kind of artworks and then i sort of thought that maybe this is what i like and i realized that the more i the more artworks i make and the faster the design decisions that i'm making it gets really clear it becomes very clear that what i really gravitate towards it's like a, this hidden secret within you that you knew you had in the back of your mind but it was not out on your face that this is the kind of work that you like and you should be doing so yeah so that is one thing that you sh- you can you can allow yourself to listen to your heart uh, the more and more you make personal art so currently you'll be seeing that i'm making personal art all the time so how how am i making when am i making commercial work right uh so what i call production or commercial art right now is any artwork that i make or any piece of model or anything 3d or digital any piece of digital image that i make for the tutorials or maybe to promote a product to demonstrate some shaders i made that is that is the commercial work i that is what i call commercial work and i have i make that rarely when i'm working on a new tutorial or product i'm making a few currently so you'll be uh, seeing a new tutorial in a few in a in a week or so i don't want to make very uh, very rigid promises because it takes time to edit and plan out the tutorial very well so 
yeah, a tutorial is in the works. So that will be one commercial uh, produ production art, as I call it. So yeah, so that is how things are going on here. And I'm not saying that you should keep making personal art for free without any financial go financial goal in mind. Instead, I think that is very stupid. And you should have a strong financial goal in mind. Maybe you're trying to improve on something or you're trying to learn some new software and you can incorporate that in your regular personal personal work. Maybe you are making every week like me or you're working on something uh, on a weekly basis instead of every weekday. So you can incorporate that. Maybe I'll learn ZBrush. That might be your goal. Then you work on some sculpt every day some uh, base mesh sculpting every day. You can learn a lot by that, uh, by that technique, I think. So that's, that those are viable, those are viable ways of leveraging regular personal art uh, to aid you in, in improving your skills for your commercial work, which, uh, which has an added benefit that the personal art can help as a, as a promotion to your uh, potential clients they can find you through your personal art, and it is very, it is a very common strategy used by mo many concept and concept artists and illustrators to make personal art, uh, which acts as a gateway to their commercial work, and clients find them in that way. So that is a good way, good good model, business model, in my opinion. But currently, I'm not really into any of those models, honestly. Uh, if I get some work through per to this personal uh, to this personal artworks and I hit some good good deal with uh, with, with a studio or some some client that I really like then I maybe then I'm they, then I might consider working on a freelance but so far the deals I've got are not very interesting to me currently and right now you have to consider this fact as well this does not apply to everyone because I'm not trying to uh, I'm not trying to monetize most part of my work right now because I, I think I'm very I'm at a very early age uh, early stage of this ecosystem that I'm building with blue inversion and the whole blender community uh, surrounding surrounding the, surrounding those surrounding blue inversion and I do not want to cash out of course I'm not here to make a quick buck and then call it quits or it's or blue inversion is basically not in not in not an exit plan if you if you will it is it is going to be a lifelong thing i have a very i have a very very slow uh plan to get it to where i want it want it to be and i do not want to monetize everything i want to make it a very healthy ecosystem uh by helping out more people honing my crafts honing honing my skills and being a um being something of value and providing people with uh, interesting and helpful content and of course the products so I, I of course i make products uh, money through the products and i'm not like i'm a i'm not like i'm i'm not against making money using your art or using plugins or whatever you sell or whatever way you make your money but what I'm saying is currently I have that pressure off of me. So that's it. That I, I consider myself lucky in that respect that I do not have the pressure of uh, meeting these financial goals very rigidly because I'm living very humbly right now. I'm at, your, at, at my parents' house right now. Uh, previously staying at uh, at the big city in our, in our, in our, in our region, state, you say. It's very different from, it's very different from what uh, U.S. looks like, uh, according to regional divisions. But uh, it's a state, and I was, I shifted to uh, this place called Kolkata. If you are from India, you know it, of course. Many people know it. It's a popular city. Like, come on. <laughs> and I moved there. I was, I was there for my college. Actually, I was pursuing computer science honors at college and that's the story for a different podcast episode but uh, so I was doing work from there then I moved back for due to this of course this COVID-19 thing I might stay here I might not go back there because I like the 
like i i like how calm and quiet the the my town is basically it's not a city yet you can call it uh, it's not it's not that busy and it's that rush is not there you can you can have some silence and peace in most uh, do, at at most times of the day and that is very important because uh i really i was having a hard time focusing because that uh, the the area of that uh, the area of kolkata that i was staying in was very noisy so yeah, like i said it's a different topic for it's a different topic different day we'll talk about it later but that's what i'm uh what i'm getting to is that um i'm cutting on costs i'm working towards making very high value products and that will be the only source of money that i make currently unless i get some very interesting freelance project that i might work on but i'm not very interested in that right now so let's see where we can take this personal art thing to and um i'm i really i am really planning to make this uh, everyday thing a little bit a little more organized so what i recently des- decided is that i will work with work in art series pattern what i mean is that for example the work that i that i'm currently showing you on the time lapse it is um this idea struck me if, if like the the human figure with the with the blindfold that idea struck me a little while ago and i was uh i was working on that idea in my mind and then that cigarette uh pack thing came up recently and then i combined those and quickly made this artwork so i think this abstract ideas with uh, with the human figure this concept can be uh, explored a bit and this goes the, the same goes for more more stuff like um let me quickly go back to my art station once again um maybe this one with uh a morphing morphing human and uh animals kind of some gene mutation thing that will be interesting i guess so that that one can be a series so i can keep making work on a particular art series subject for a very long time until i get bored of it and then i'll jump on to the next one what what this will do is that i'll be able to learn a lot about one particular kind of common theme a general theme for a long time which will help me experiment a lot and and i think the more time i spend on an idea uh, it tends to get more and more sophisticated and uh, really really good ideas come up so in this way i'll be able to make artworks every day while also maintaining that uh, while also maintaining a continuation to the story or really disconnected story with the same theme kind of thing and that way i can explore different uh, ideas of the same uh, rooting out r- rooting out from the same common same common general idea i guess so that will be something interesting to watch like if you are having a hard time understanding what i'm saying uh, it's basically let me give you an anal- uh, g- let me give you an anal- analogy that um it looks it is similar to what musicians do with albums like making singles is one thing and then making an album is something different like the album should sound uh like a cohesive a group of cohesive work together like it it is stitched together all the songs are not disconnected um world of their own it's like a environment a world you are in and the artist performs uh, if a connected continue continuous story spanning across a few a handful of songs and that's what you call an album there you can say that this song is from this album because you there's something common is some is some kind of common idea running through each and every song in that album so the art series can be considered in that way i guess as as usual i'm not very sure how well it is going to go unless i do it right only one way to know whether it's going to be of any worth at all so i'll be working with this art series thing that uh 
you, you will be able to you you will see more of the human faces and animals morphing together or something like that gene mutation kind of thing you will be seeing more of that in on my feed and on on this channel so un, un, until i run out of ideas or get bored of this subject so i think i can come up with more interesting ideas that way and yeah so it's really about forming a niche around the kind of style that i gravitate towards and let's see how many people resonate with that um what i really what i'm noticing recently is that um there's this new kind of role in this new new kind of new genre of art i guess that is it's more prevalent in the concept artist realm that you have this role of similar to an art director where you are not an expert in in most of the fields but you you have the idea and you lead the team and manage the team so that they get a vision executed according to your according according to your plans so i think the team members are kind of getting replaced by more and more capable softwares and that is what i'm what i and many people are doing these days we we are not spending that much time on each section of the artwork i'll say at least that's what i'm trying to do because i have i do not i do not care that much about the craft like i love the process of making the artwork definitely 100% that's what i'm here for but at the same time i'm not i do not really i'm not really attached to the craft itself if i if i spend if i i have spent more than 5 6 years of my life working on um modeling and if tomorrow someone says someone comes up with a with a service that can give you any model with minimum input like if i can write it out and then it come it gives me a very good model detailed model of maybe a if i write if i write down a tank a war tank and then it gives me a very detailed model of a war war, war tank and then i do not have to model it anyway i will not be pissed that i spent all my time in modeling no i'll be i'll rather be excited that i do not have to model i do not have to go through such such a lengthy time and strenuous process of making a model to get my idea out there so that is one thing so i think i'm more of a art director kind of dna and i do love some aspects of making a digital 3d artwork but that does not take away from the fact that i'm more into the execution of ideas and 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 taking something from the concept to the final result so yeah i think i kind of touched on most of the subjects that i uh wanted to touch on and the time lapse has also ended so today i had a lot of coffee so if i sound a bit off today that's because of the coffee it's not my fault really i'm a tea person i'm not a coffee guy i just had to take coffee today i i just had to do it today i don't know why i was feeling very drowsy after taking my lunch and it is and i couldn't have recorded the podcast in that in that state of mind so i had to take a cup of coffee and i know this is the what do you what do you call that the afternoon slump <laughs> i'm aware of that so i took the coffee and then i recorded this podcast i hope it wasn't that bad and i hope you enjoyed some parts of it got a little bit of value out of it um subscribe to all to all the channels spotify anchor i think it's not yet out on apple itunes as soon as it will be out i'll be i'll let you know it will be down there down there down down there it will be listed if it's available on itunes do subscribe when it is and thank you for all the love and support that i have been receiving on this podcast 
leave a comment if you like today's episode and if you have any questions then leave that in the comments because I, i'm very very much looking forward to taking up a question from you guys as the topic from it for for an episode that would be really interesting looking forward to that so if you have any questions then leave it in the comment section below so this was shyan see you on the next episode take care